Now, there is a third option. The third option is what we most commonly use when we're charting accounts for clients because it's usually going to give the clearest picture, although the first two options are still on the table. But the third option is to group the assets on the balance sheet by wallets and by assets. So the way your balance sheet would look if you had five wallets, all five of those wallets would be listed. And then underneath that, the major assets that are in those wallets would also be listed. So your balance sheet would show wallet balances by asset, wallet balance by asset, wallet balance by asset. This, from my perspective, in most cases, is going to give the clearest picture because it's allowing the decision makers, the finance team, who's ever utilizing the financial statements to get a very clear picture on which assets are held in which wallets and that usually is gonna you know give them the most information and and make the financial statements more useful so that's usually the option that we find ourselves using but all three options are available